So it's quite interesting what you spot when you actually look at something properly rather than just sort of think about it a little bit. You'll notice, <clears throat> there's my mark right there for the, uh, where I was going to have the top of the <clears throat> rail, the, um, whatever that is, slide, <clears throat> and there's the bottom. Now if I had put it into that position, I would not have been able to get the head to run all the way to the top of the movement. So <clears throat> I could drop this rail a little bit down, but if I do, I start getting close down here. I start, <clears throat> I was only this far away and I just thought if I run it this much over the top, it doesn't actually cause a problem. And it means that this is <clears throat> going to be clear of this down here. So <clears throat> it's completely different to what I'd expected. You might also notice that, well, maybe not, but <clears throat> this rail was sitting over more or less, it was covering this line here rather than being flush against this side here. But the head <clears throat> has, you can loosen off that bolt there. There's two up in there. And you can rotate this head to cut angles. And if I had put that back where I was planning to so I wasn't covering up those oil um, balls, I wouldn't be able to rotate the head. So it's a little unfortunate to cover them up. And I'll have to make up some spaces to sit this back a while, a mill or two to here. I have to sit this back out with some spaces so that uh, I don't actually have this level affected by those balls. And <clears throat> I actually drilled a hole here anticipating mounting this where I thought I was going to <clears throat> but now I've moved this both the original holes are actually um, able to be used so I've got an extra hole here but that doesn't matter because the slide will cover that up and if you haven't watched the video you'll never know Alright, now to start drilling. <clears throat> 